if I just see some out of shape, frumpy person wearing it, I have no desire to buy that outfit. But if I see a model who looks amazing and is like goals, I'm like, oh, wow, that outfit looks amazing on her. Clown. Clown. All right, here we are. It's everyone's favorite segment involving all the insanity happening in the world as we take a look at some of the stupidity associated with today's society. Uh, here we are, as if you recall, we had the actor from Star Wars and Reading Rainbow, or that's not Star Wars, Star Trek and Reading Rainbow, LeVar Burton, uh, just not too long ago, found out that his family actually fought for the Confederacy and was white. Not too long ago. Do you recall that story? Oh. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, Justice. he's not alone. He's not alone as there's a show called The View uh, that <laughs> airs on a day-to-day -day basis. Melanie, are you familiar with this? Uh, I know, like, Whoopi Goldberg says some really stupid stuff on there all the time and gets clipped constantly. <laughs> yes. Well, Sonny Hostin, uh, apparently, is a staunch proponent of reparations for back in the day <laughs> yes and she went on pbs to explore her ancestry but it turns out she's a no. descendant of slave owners from spain who owned <laughs> africans and here is her reaction when so she, she should out. pay reparations <laughs> here we are wow i'm 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 in a little bit in shock i i just that like you it's it's all this first word literally is where you can tell her going like, she's saying, oh, wow. Like, oh, but she, fuck. <laughs> but she might as well be saying, fuck my life. I know. <laughs> wow. Can, Blast, can we get this and clip this out? Wow. <laughs> just wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was... Uh, my family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that <laughs> that's that's so a laugh of pain. She is in pain. <laughs> <laughs> Just that the nervous laughter. And look at the look in her face. It's like, <laughs> 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 everything I've said is a lie. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So how are you feeling, my friend? Um, I just... Um, I think it's actually pretty interesting that um, my husband and I have shared roots. Yeah. So I, I do appreciate that. Um, and I think it's great for our children mm -hmm. to know this information. Um, I guess it's a fact of life that uh, this is how some people made their living on the backs of others. As, as the irony doesn't escape me that she makes her living on a show yeah. with other producers and people who help prop her up as she's making her living off the backs of others. I'm just pointing that out. It's crazy, but yeah. <laughs> so so uh, congratulations, Sunny Hostin. You are the hypocrite that, that uh, we all thought you were. Uh, next, let's go to a very popular thing nowadays, uh, vegan protests. We know this uh, thing. And <laughs> Uh, Mel, what would it take for you to go vegan? Uh, it's funny. I was vegan in the past. And then after that, I was like, no, never again. I felt so ill and then went total opposite with carnivore and never felt better. So no, I would not there. You couldn't put a price on it on how much better I feel. Um, I, I would not go vegan for anything, not sacrificing my health for that. Well, this guy obviously feels very similar to you as uh, we have this young lady over here protesting cows and stuff, whatever they're doing. I don't know. Uh, he just shows up. <laughs> We're having a big old nice burger. Let's go. Eat it right in front of her face. Right there. I'll, I'll get that chicken, KFC chicken pizza and eat it out of vegan protest. <laughs> look, at, look at how upset she is. <laughs> and then she's comforted by her other like, you know, white college age girls that's who are why just, they have no emotional regulation because they aren't getting the proper nutrients in their brain <laughs> that was what that was the big thing that made me stop doing vegan is what i noticed mental effects because i already was weak and had the physical effects but when i felt like mentally okay 
so I feel mentally off right now. I need to eat meat and I made eggs and bacon that very day because I'm not afraid to admit when I was when I'm wrong. And I if I feel like, OK, this is hurting me. All right. I was wrong. Let me go ahead and fix this. Most um, vegans so, like don't yeah. even realize the actual way of agriculture and farm life and education. They're all like, oh, yeah, you're killing cows. <laughs> well, no. speaking of speaking of killing things, a new study came out, and this is terrifying, as 80% of Americans test positive for chemical found in Cheerios, <gasps> Quaker Oats, that may cause infertility and delayed mm -hmm. puberty. I'm not even surprised. Cheerios. I'm not even surprised. That's the thing. It's like think of something like oats, right? Every the the everybody's oh oats are so good for you. Oats are so healthy and all this stuff. There's so much chemicals in these things, and a lot of plant foods are filled with the way that they're processed, the way that they're harvested, the way that they have pesticides. This, that, and the other is one reason why a lot of people who do turn to carnivore notice so many health benefits because it's like. This is not normal for these foods to have all this crap in it. So they found a highly toxic agricultural chemical. Um, is federally, it's federally allowed to be used in oats and other grains Ooh. imported mm -hmm. to the U.S. So the right, U.S. So government I have okay. information on this. If you go and compare like pesticides in America and pesticides in Canada, there are different regulations. Right. You can't use certain things in Canada that you can in America. This is just like the food in Europe. So mm -hmm. like the you the government wants us all dead and you know so we can live off of them forever. But this yep. is ridiculous. Like the fact is guys, don't eat bad shit. <laughs> Cut it out. There you go. Buy local. I know it's super expensive, but you maybe it'll live. And just think about how many children are eating Cheerios in the morning, not knowing this is happening. Yep. It's awful. It's just, and do you, like, where, where is this in the news? You don't see it really, except for like what, the New York Post or whatever it no. was. Like something really small. You're not seeing this on CNN or ABC or any of this crap. Cause like, shh, it's fine. This, this should lead every news outlet mm -hmm. in America. Like 80% mm -hmm. of Americans tested positive for a chemical that's found in Cheerios. Yep. Cheerios and Quaker Oats that may cause infertility and delayed puberty. This is a kid, this is a child uh, uh, focused on children, a product, mm -hmm. Cheerios of all things. It's crazy. So this nonprofit says, um, just as troubling, we detected the chemical in 92% of oat-based foods purchased in May of 2023 including Quaker wow. Oats and Cheerios, 92% of oat-based foods. Wow. <laughs> well, and oh. you know, one reason why um, cereal in general, and I went down a rabbit hole on this, why cereal was so pushed for, okay, this is a breakfast food. Like they want fertility down. They want people's sex drives down. The Seventh Day Ad Adventists, they are like uh, the, the Kellogg's family. And they created the, the, like, they pushed these cereal-based diets so that young boys would, um, so it would lower their sex drive because of all of their beliefs surrounding that. So it was like, yeah, it was meant to prevent a word I'm not going to say here on YouTube. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, what Robo Next just said in chat, that's what cereal was for. And so, um, yeah, now we're reading this where it's like, oh, this will lower your fertility. I mean, well, that's what what the cereal was created and pushed to do anyway, was to drop sex drive in, in the population. So, hmm. yeah. Well... It looks like these people have been eating a lot of Cheerios because I don't expect them to have many babies. So let's move on to the world of fashion here uh, <laughs> as, as our final story. This is the uh, the new trend. Remember, we, we want to be inclusive. Remember, remember when we were growing up and models were like, they had washboard abs, dudes. We got these girls who were like skinny and that was the thing. Like, right. And he was like, why don't you just eat some meat? They're all skinny, blah, 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 right? Um, and people are like, well, that's just unattainable. I don't even understand. And we had 
the Victor Victoria's Secret Angels and the models who were like super sexy and hot. Um, and those were like the girls that guys strived for. Well, the world of fashion has certainly changed. As let's go to our latest uh, fashion show. Oh my! Oh dear! Exclusivity <laughs> that's happening at this latest fashion show. Uh, by the way, I'm pretty sure this is a dude at this point right here. Yeah. And then I, I love this. <laughs> I mean, it's like one of those modern wheelchairs from like I don't know, like Doctor Evil. This is Ugh. this is beyond parody at this point, right? Like we're oh clearly. Oh my goodness! They're not even like strutting. They're like bum 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 bum. They're just jiggling down <laughs> the runway. <laughs> at least try to like you know. This is the thing is anytime I see an ad on online for some clothing, um, if I just see some out of shape, frumpy person wearing it, I have no desire to buy that outfit. But if I see a model who looks amazing and is like goals, I'm like, oh, wow, that outfit looks amazing on her. I want to buy that outfit. So I don't even know who this is, how they expect this to move product if a frumpy person is wearing it, then the outfit itself is going to look frumpy. So I, I, I just don't get it. My, I mean, this is a legit question. I thought this was maybe for like over, like this is a fashion show for like overweight people, right? Which if right. that's the case, okay. But then like the girl on the wheelchair goes by and she's, <laughs> kind, she's kind of skinny, you know? And then we got this, they, them over here walking by. Uh, but even and, and, if, if they want to market to fat people, there are still some models who are the plus size variety. And there are some fat models that still look attractive, um, but they aren't even trying. What you don't see here is they're all marching towards French fries. No, you know, you know what they're marching towards is that uh, chi the cheese over there. That the, That's that it. Kid. That's right. It all, all roads lead back to the cheese. There we go. Exactly. Yeah. That, that they should be telling you not to go eat that because that's what you'll look like if you eat it. Shut up, Labs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to order a cheese today if possible.